In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sailor High Ace Neo Calligraphy Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So here we have the Sailor High Ace Neo Calligraphy fountain pen. This is specifically the two millimeter version, but and this is the widest that they come in. There's a 1.5 millimeter and a one millimeter. Let's walk through it. Starting with the cap, we have a metallic matte blue cap here. The cap is metal. And then we have a chrome clip here. Very simple design, chrome finial with a flat top. And actually both ends are pretty flat such that it'll stand you know on the desk here eh, come on you can do it yeah now just very straight not really any tapering or anything going on here it's just a straight cylinder it says calligraphy 2.0 again for the nib sailor in japan because it's made in japan by sailor and then we have this sort of frosted translucent plastic barrel here. We do see a seam here. I don't know if that'll show up on camera. On the inside we have these ridges. I'm not 100% sure what they're for. This does taper down and then kind of flares out at the end. And we can see on here, it says Japan, again, on the plastic barrel here. Not the most high-end feeling thing. It does scratch. I have scratches on the end of this, unfortunately. But it's, you know, a $20 pen. Now it's a friction fit cap. It does click onto the back, so it snaps on there securely, which I quite like. Looking at the section here, or the body rather, you know, it, again, that translucent sort of matte plastic, it has a little bit of a texture to it. Uh, we can see the cartridge in there. This pen does come with three black ink cartridges, Sailor ones, obviously, and it is proprietary Sailor cartridge converter. Does not come with a converter, but of course you can use one with it. You can see the threading here for the section and nib. And then it's smooth plastic here. It's actually quite a long grip section, thinner one, but it, it's long, which I, I do like. We have a seam here, which you can feel, although I don't notice it when I'm writing with it. And we have a clear plastic feed, which I really quite like the look of. It looks more, you can see from the angle that it's clear, but when this pen is clean or when this pen is new, it won't look black like this. It'll look clear and it, it's really, I like it. I like seeing the, <laughs> the ink fill into the feed and turn the feed a different color. It's kind of fun to see. Now the nib here has a nice heart-shaped breather hole and then we have the Sailor Anchor logo there and 2.0 for 2.0 millimeters so looks nice i like that they did a little something different for these pens okay let's do the measurements here so coming in a little bit here i have my upgraded paper mind ruler here it's not a franklin covey anymore now it's 135 millimeters capped 123 124 posted looking at 150 so, nice pen, it's thin. Let's measure the grip section here. So it's a long grip section, which I, I do like that bit about this, but let's take a look here. So at the widest part at the end, 9.8, and then up at the end here, about eight millimeters. As a comparison, this is a Pilot Parallel, obviously a different type of nib, but you can see that this is a bit fatter, 10 millimeter, is it straight? Eh, it tapers a little bit. Not a big deal, the pen is so light, it doesn't, that thinness doesn't become a problem, at least not for me. Now, in terms of weight, we're looking at 12.28 grams, and that's with a relatively full car cartridge in there, and then uncapped, about 6.58 so almost half the weight there in, in that cap, but I don't find that it feels top heavy. It's light enough that it, it really doesn't make a difference. 
Okay, let's do the writing sample. Okay. So the writing sample. I'm going to be doing this on the Paper Mind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. This is a brand that I have started, and for Blake's Broadcast subscribers, I'm giving you guys 10% off with code BB10. These are really nice made in Japan notebooks with excellent Mitsubishi bank paper. Okay, let's do it. So this is the Sailor Sailor High Base. And this is the Neo 2.0 millimeters and this is sailor black We can try fast writing. Now, this takes a lot of ink to write with this big nib, so I'm curious to see how this goes. I also, it's a sharp nib, so we'll see. Oops, see. Yep. <laughs> As I expected, it didn't go that well. A lot of it was the feed not keeping up, and some of it was me not getting the position quite right. But no bleeding, even with that sharp nib and wet writing. It does quite nicely, though, with normal writing speeds. I don't have any issues with skipping at all. Of course, being, you know, a sharp calligraphy nib you know it is position sensitive right so if I don't get it quite flat on there it's not going to really run want to write but when you do get the position right notice how much line variation you have there it's huge in terms of reverse writing I don't know why you would do that it doesn't really work Flexibility, <laughs> nope, total nail. Don't know why you would want to flex a calligraphy nib, or a italic nib, rather. Overall, oh, let's see, I've exhausted it. This has been a pen that I've really enjoyed writing with. I was thinking that nothing is really going to beat these Pilot Parallel pens and I still think these are really good but the Sailor in my opinion is just as good performance wise now of course with the Pilot Parallel you get more nib sizes which is nice I don't believe they have a two millimeter though they just came out with this three millimeter but there's no two millimeter and there's no one millimeter. This is a 1.5, which we do get in the Sailor High Ace. But anyway, not quite as much overlap as there could be, so I definitely like using these in addition to those Pilot Parallel pens. Definitely one of the best cheap calligraphy or italic nibs that I've come across. So, so what are my pros and cons for the Sailor High Ace Neo Calligraphy Fountain Pen? The biggest pro for me is definitely the nib performance. This nib performs really well and that's more than I can say for a lot of sort of budget calligraphy pens even from really well-known high quality manufacturers so in this you know twenty dollar and under price range this is really one of the top performers that I've come across so very happy with that I like the the cap that it's friction fit cap and it snaps onto the back of the barrel I like the design of the nib, I like the heart-shaped breather hole, I like the clear feed, I think that looks nice, a little something extra, and I like that we have sort of a long grip section here. I also like that you get three Sailor ink cartridges with this pen. Now, in terms of cons, it's on the thinner side, uh, but it is very light, so I do find it comfortable, but if you like a really thick pen, this isn't it. 
it is proprietary cartridge and converter. However, it doesn't come with a converter, so you'd have to buy that, but not a huge deal. Only comes in three nib widths, one, 1 1.5 and two millimeters, so not the most variety. You know, if you want more variety, there's Pilot Parallel. This is, I think, all of them except for one. However, the Pilot Parallel does not have a two millimeter or a one millimeter, as far as I know. Other downside is there's a hole in the end of the barrel here, so if you wanted to convert this into an eyedropper, you could not do that. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.